Don't let the smiles fool you. Today, that was the sound of pain on Wall Street. The slump began on Friday, ending record highs. At one point today, the Dow was down nearly 1,600 points, a dive like we've never seen before. Then it rallied slightly before closing. Canada's main stock index also moved downward, dropping triple digits since Friday's close. Today, it shed more than 270 points, with all sectors finishing in the red. So a lot of questions tonight about what's happening with the markets, what's behind the plunge, and what it might mean. Jacqueline Hansen has some of the answers. When Donald Trump said this last week... The stock market has smashed one record after another. U.S. stock markets were about to break something else, their winning streak. The losses continued today. On the surface, it would seem contradictory. Good signs for the economy could be causing the sell-off. Wages in the U.S. are rising, and that's a good thing for workers. But for companies, it means more money spent on labor and perhaps less profit. When wages go up, inflation is not usually far behind. That's where the U.S. central bank steps in. It's already raising interest rates to keep inflation in check. There could be as many as four more hikes this year. And those higher rates also make it more expensive to borrow. You have people looking at valuations that stocks are trading at and saying if interest rates rise, those valuations will come down, those stocks are worth less. For stock markets, dips, even corrections are part of a normal cycle. But Wall Street has been on a tear, climbing nonstop for about two years now. We've had a very strong market without any real pullback. So we really think this is more of the market looking for an excuse to correct a little bit. For investors at home, any losses, even after so many months of gains, can be difficult. So it feels twice as bad to have a loss than it is to have a gain, and that's normal. But like during any sell-off, this could also be an opportunity. When the market goes down, it essentially means that everything is on sale. Things are better priced today than they were last week. So in a down market, it's a great time to invest because you're getting more value for your money. The question is, how low will stock markets go? If it's just an extremely hot market letting off some steam, that's one thing. But if it's a turning point, the outcome could be very different. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto. So lots of questions here. Let's bring in Preet Banerjee, who is a personal finance commentator. And let's start with the question that, that Jacqueline posed. Is this a, a correction or is this the beginning of a downward trend? Yeah, so unfortunately, I hate to disappoint, but I don't have a crystal ball and uh, I have no idea what's going to happen in the short term. And I would suggest that anyone gives you solid advice as to saying that they do know what's going to happen. Take that with a big grain of salt because we simply do not know what happens in the short term. So no definitive answer, but what's your educated guess? Right, so if I had to take a guess, if you're forcing me to do that, then what I would I'm say is that, that yes. um, there are inflationary pressures that investors are reacting to, and they're saying that this portends the increase in interest rates by central bankers. Now, if central bankers feel confident enough that they can raise interest rates, that means that they are confident in the economy. So based on that, I would say that that suggests that there is not much to really get worked up at this point. And yet these headlines seem gloomy at least, but kind of dire maybe if you look <laughs> at, the, at the top line. So how worried should people be? Yeah, I mean, and the, and the headlines are really, you know, they're very big. You know, people talk about this is the single biggest point drop on the Dow Jones Industrial Average in its history. And while that's true, what's really important is the percentage drop. So if you take a look at the actual percentage drops in the 100 worst days on the Dow Jones, this doesn't even rank in the top 100 or worst 100 trading days, as it were, in terms of a percentage drop, which is different than just the point drop. And yet no one knows, as you pointed out, for sure what might happen next. And I think of a lot of our viewers who have RSPs, mutual funds, and, and maybe, you know, they're just looking for a little bit of guidance here. And, and so what should they be doing? Stay the course. Don't do anything. You know, talk to your financial advisor. Get a second opinion if you don't have a financial advisor. And they will probably tell you the same thing, that this is par for the course. We have these little pullbacks from time to time. And right now, it's not even big enough to get worried about. Do not panic. Okay, Preet, thank you. My pleasure.